Mays Howe, part of the heart of Neolithic Orkney World Heritage Site, is the finest chambered tomb in northwest Europe, dated to around 5,000 years ago. It consists of a grassy mound that sits on a large circular platform, surrounded by a ditch, and beyond this, a bank. The mound contains a long stone passage leading to an elaborate stone-lined chamber with side cells. The mound itself is about 35 metres across and 7 metres high. The central chamber is encased by a corbelled wall. A thick layer of clay and small stones were sealed by a clay skin. This is now covered with green turf. Maysow, like other chambered tombs, were used to bury bones. At certain times of the year, the community would gather the bones of their dead, properly buried elsewhere, ceremonially bring them into Maysow and carefully arrange them on the platforms in the side cells. is the Unstun Neolithic chambered cairn uh, which was excavated uh, in 1884 and 1934 so this was the burial place for the farming community that lived here over 4,500 years ago and when it was first excavated they found tumbled human bones in each compartment of the main chamber and they it, it is thought that Possibly the recently dead were placed in the side chambers and then after an appropriate interval they would be removed and placed in one of the stores. And they've also found here some of the large number of pottery bowls of a type found in many Orkney tombs and they're now called unstanware, where they would perhaps have contained food or drink for the dead um, and for the afterlife. And it, it, it took such effort building these cairns and they were used for so long and it shows how important they were to the society in between 3500 and 2500 BC. We've crawled through a narrow passageway and are now in a chambered cairn of nearly 4,000 years old BC. It's an amazing structure. We've got four little um, passages leading off from the main entrance and when they opened it up they found skulls besides people of small animals, dogs and things. Hunt, so they think maybe it was to do with hunting this little burial can. And we can't hear the wind at all or the birds. It's completely quiet in here. This is the Tomb of the Eagles, or to give it its correct term, the Ispister Chambered Cairn and it is on South Ronaldsea. 
It's an Orkney chromaty type chambered cairn, only one of, of two which have been excavated recently and strongly resembles Unstan cairn in Stennes. The remains of about 340 individuals were found. Of particular interest was the discovery of skeletons and talons of sea eagles, hence the name. The cairn was built about 3,150 years BC and used for up to 800 years. Over 40 broken unstanware pots were found as well as fish and animal bones and charred barley. The human remains which were found were not found as lying in a grave, more as in an ossuary, a place of bones, because the skulls were all separate and then there was a place where the bodies, body parts were. And they want, people have been wondering about why this was and they think that perhaps the bodies after people died were left out and scavenged then and the, the one main scavenger here would have been the great sea eagles and we don't know, they said we don't know but these sea eagles were so big that they could have carried parts of the body away with them and perhaps the people thought they were carrying their spirits to the other world because these sea eagles, the skeletons and parts of sea eagles have been found in the tombs too. And what they found is piles of sharply polished talons, not used as um, a necklace or anything, but they were all in a pile together, obviously carefully put there. And so the sea eagles had tremendous significance for these people. And... Um, it can only be conjecture as to why. The different type of artefacts and the sophisticated nature of some of them shows that this was used for ceremonial purposes. There was also everyday Stone Age utensils found in and around the tomb. Tools found may have been used for hammering, pounding or crushing, perhaps to shape the stones that have been used to build the walls and others might have been used to prepare the food and they've found more than a hundred vessels um, perhaps in this it's one of the most important Neolithic pottery collections so far discovered in the British Isles here the tomb itself was meticulously built with much thought given to its cliff top position it is evident that the Stone Age man had time to spare in which to build tombs and stone circles, make jewellery and craft ceremonial artefacts. Imagining the interior as our forebears would have experienced it gives us some sense of its mystery. Dark, cool and still, filled with the bones of the ancestors, a deeply spiritual place.